Welcome back. Uh, no, I have not updated the channel in quite a while, but yeah, winter was over. We really went on with the, with the work. There was some additional work to be done on the uh, painting. And guess what? We are done. They've removed everything and let's look at the result. Here you go. Ta-da! Not yet completely finished. Garage has been finished. It's gonna be done with aluminium tiles, looking very similar to this, but you can see it, it's done. Really great, it's producing a lot of power. Much more than I thought that actually, actually. So we'll see into the details later on, but yeah, let me just walk you through the setup, how it looks like. So electrical engineer has done his part of the work and the total theoretical output of the um, all the cells added is somewhere near 27 kilowatt peak. Quite a powerful stuff. But well, if you calculate it properly uh, with the steepness of the roof, the orientation of the roof, the electrical engineer ended up to something like 17 kilowatts. So that's when we moved to a 17 kilowatt solar edge inverter all well connected you can see the dc current is coming from here and uh, all the wiring going back to the fuse box um yeah all connected to the internet as well so there's two network cables going to the fuse box one to the electrical meter uh, you've seen previously in one of my videos, the Solar Edge uh, mod boost meter. I really advise you to take this one. This is really useful um, for all the optimization you're going to do later. Um, you're able to measure what this thing is producing, but it's perfect if you have one entity that um, does all the uh, all this stuff. I think it's 300 bucks, something like this, this meter. Really useful. I could have connected also my uh, house meter, which has a P1 port, but then you need some external tools and everything. Uh, there is already some nice computing power in there. So whatever um, device you will add, you uh, can connect to that later. But yeah, I'll come to that um, uh, later, but I wanted just to show you how that looks like. Um, Everything coming from the roof here. Uh, lots of cable, right? Uh, all going there. And then with this three-phase cable, all going back to the fuse box. Hey! So, maybe let's have a look at some pictures of how the house looks like. You've seen new painting. Um, so that was sandbrushed. Um, still some painting to do. Um, I haven't yet uh, decided everything. Um, but yeah. The roof is there. Let's go and have a look in the Solar Edge app. So, a couple of pictures here. Um, when the roof was raised, you see the, the tiles, how they pile up to each other. Always only two screws, so there's two holes in each panel, two screws to hold it down. Uh, yeah, it was not easy. The steepness is one thing, but then you see this little corner, the edges at the top. That was not easy to do. Lots of fake tiles to do the angles. Uh, the fake tiles um, kind of made in a composite, some aluminum or composite, and you needed to um, cut them and fit them well. Uh, uh, yeah, it took them quite some time. Um, yeah, we took the opportunity to brush uh, the wall wood, uh, 100 years old wood. You could see that comes to a very nice color. Um, amazing work that the guys did and then they painted it um, with some uh, insect protection, um, sun protection and this is how it ends. Uh, super nice. Um, you see the color like this. It's really great. Uh, well, and now the roof is done. Brushing is done. New painting on top. And uh, yeah, it was quite some work to, uh, to have this all done. And then just things me still finished the edges and this is how it looks like. I added some LED lights uh, below the roof to create some kind of a, an ambiance. And this is how it looks like, quite nice. A uh, bit of show off thing maybe. But yeah, that's, uh, that's how it looks like. So, okay, let's move on and go and see how it looks in the app.
So let's take the app on the phone and you can see right now it's producing 13.1 kilowatts of power and you have some nice graphs within the app. You can see the history, you can see the consumption and actually you can only see the consumption here because we have the solar edge meter otherwise you would only see the production. And yeah, you can zoom in, have some details, you see your house consumption um, and uh, all the history, you can go back days, uh, look at all the dates and what you see here is we always overproduce. But then we overproduce during the day and of course you still need some power for the night. I don't have a battery, I have nothing to, uh, to keep this uh, electricity so I'm injecting back on the grids. And oh, what you can see here is um, some little peaks. This is of course when I was charging the car and what you see here is the, 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 the car charge is adjusting to the consumption. This is because of some uh, optimization I've done with my charger with home assistant but i'll come back to that later i'm just kind of trying to go back and show you uh time i charged the car without optimization in the morning just plugged it in here again with optimization <clears throat> and then you go back you see a couple of peaks and here we go this is when i plugged in the car and uh, it was just uh charging of course this is not this is suboptimal because you're not using the actual power you're producing so it makes sense to have a, a charger that uh, actually talks to this uh, solar edge inverter. Um, there's many options, many different options. Some do natively speak to uh, to the uh, to the, the, the inverter. Other ones you need to have some kind of a bridge or an application to do that. Yeah. So I've done this with um, Home Assistant. Uh, let's see how Home Assistant looks like. And um, there's a nice dashboard. You can do so many things with that. Uh, but this is where I built the stuff and I'll come back to that later. So, I still need to cancel my uh, Tesla solar roof. Uh, if I go back to my uh, Tesla account, you can see my car but also my solar roof order. You go to in it and then uh, well, they're soon going to get in touch with me. This is in three years like this. Um, and uh, this is what I ordered. Power wall, solar roof. I had a 1,000 Swiss franc on deposit. So let's just cancel it. So many options to choose from. Was it too expensive? Is it unclear? Uh, well, it's just not ready, right? It's like taking longer than I expected. Or let's see it in another way. I just need it right now. Yeah, I need a, a, a new roof right now. We've seen that, right? Um, getting old. So yeah, I think uh, the Tesla uh, solar roof is uh, a very good alternative here. It has pushed other players on the market, uh, made things move quite quickly. We could see it in my project. There is a lot of different types of roof, different types of rules, the security bars in my case, uh, but also the, the, the fact that every country has different legislation. So, so it's going to take them some time to have a standardized product um, that they can ship or that they at least know they can ship it, but they can mount it on every roof. I think there's still a tricky part in there. Uh, I th I, I'm still amazed about this, uh, this uh, Tesla solar roof project. I think there's a lot of a future for that. Uh, there's also a place for competitors. Um, so I've done here the, 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 the cancelling process. I've received an email after that. Uh, where I could put my bank account uh, information in there and about a month later I got the money back on my account. So, so all, all smooth process. I'm really uh, thankful to Tesla for this. Um, yeah, I still think the SunStyle uh, ties are a perfect choice for me. It looks good, great. I'm super happy it's done. So yeah, good. So thanks for all watching. Um, stay tuned for further improvement and so on. And uh, happy to hear your comments.